Months of investigating by GPD and DOC led to an early morning shakedown at the Minilo compound. Officers confiscated cell phones and what is suspected to be crystal methamphetamine, also known as ICE. Aside from the shakedown, two search warrants were executed at homes in Dededo and Barragada, owned by Paul Johnson and Roxanne Hokok. The chief could only confirm that inside one of the homes, 30 grams of meth was confiscated. No word on how much meth was found inside DOC. Lieutenant Jeffrey Limo for official misconduct, receiving bribes and accepting gratitudes for past service. He has been with DOC for almost 30 years, serving as head of internal affairs. The officer in charge of transport serves as special assistant to the director and is in charge of the halfway house. He also served as a spokesperson for DOC for several years. Also arrested on various charges ranging from official misconduct to promoting prison contraband were Edward Nicholas Chrysostomo, Jerry Hokog, Franklin Rosalind, and Jerome Timonglos Nicholas. They are all corrections officers once. Arrested and accused of bringing the drugs and contraband to DOC were Roxanne Hokog and DPW employee Ron Menno. Paul Johnson was arrested on similar charges, but he was booked and released. As for who was receiving the contraband, the chief would only confirm that two inmates were under investigation, Bruno Simmons and Sean Johnson. Up until today, they were being housed in the special housing unit. Paul Johnson and inmate Sean Johnson are related. And despite the ongoing joint investigation and that police raid done today, authorities say that more arrests will be made. Meanwhile, Deb Corps Director Tony Lamorena says the arrested officers will be separated from the prison population. It's a sad day for DOC. Uh, but, you know, the reality is, is we need to let the judicial process take its course. Um, but we also don't condone uh, any illegal activities. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusi Nick Delgado.